Well, as Facebook tells me, I should wait, relax, and build an audience. I just wanted to say, grab a cup of joe, have a seat. Maybe it's tea. I don't know how you start your morning or what your routine is. But thank you for rising and shining and getting up with me for highly caffeinated. So for many years, most of my adult life, I've gotten up well before the rooster crowed. And I've always thought, well, heck, if I'm going to get up this early, I should have a morning drive show or I should be on TV. So I'm going to do something on Monday mornings at 5.30 a.m. And one of my goals for 2017 is to be here at 5.30 a.m. every Monday, 52 straight Mondays. So I've said it out loud, and oftentimes we need to be held accountable by saying it out loud. So that's where we are. And over the weekend, I was in the car a lot, just thinking, dreaming, and I thought, you know, I'm up. And right now, I don't have to necessarily be anywhere at 6 a.m., so I'm up anyway, and I'm doing my personal development, and I thought I always grab and start my day with a cup of coffee, and I'd share it with you. My coffee started when I was just a young adult serving the U.S. Air Force, and I was in the field in Fairbanks, Alaska, and when it's this time of year, or winter time in Alaska, it's pretty freaking cold, and all you wanted was something hot. Well, it's developed into a love and passion for good coffee, fresh beans every morning, and starting the day. So I wanted to share with you 10 ways that I believe you can live a bold and amazing life. And I think that each one of us, good morning, Mary, should live in a bold and amazing life. Number one and first and foremost, good morning, Gretchen, is you should take care of yourself first. You only have one body and your body is for life and we must take care of it each and every day. We're not ever looking when we talk about health and wellness for perfection, we're looking for progress. But the number one goal in life is to take care of you. You cannot take care of anybody else if you don't take care of you first. Number two in living a bold and amazing life is be kind. I often say the only time that you should be looking down on somebody is when you're helping them up. Be kind. Share your smile. Say hello when you pass a stranger. And actually take the time to listen when you ask how they're doing to their comment. Tell them to have a nice day. It'll make you feel better and it'll make them know that they have an impact in the world. So that's where we want to do. Be kind. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for waking up and plugging in this morning. Number three, if you take care of yourself, if you're kind, you will live life more confidently. So be confident in who you are. Stand tall. Drop your shoulders and look somebody in the eye and let them know that you know they have value. You have value and you're confident in who you are. So walk, walk tall. It doesn't mean that you're arrogant or cocky. Good morning, Sharon. It just means that you believe in who you are. Number four, be part of a healthy revolution. For over 18 months now, I've been preaching, and Mary and I have been preaching, and I've been preaching, being part of a healthy revolution. It all starts with taking care of yourself. It continues with being kind. It continues with being confident. Good morning. Morning, Beeper. Long time, brother. Proud of you, my man. Be part of a supportive, non-judgmental community. We are here to carry you, support you, high-five you, and pick you up when you are down so that you can live the bold and amazing life you dreamed of. Let's make an impact on the world by each of our actions, by walking tall, by when we stumble, admitting we've fallen, and getting back up. So make an impact on the world. People are watching you each and every day, whether it's your friends, your community members, or your children, they are watching you. Rise every day with a dream to motivate and impact others. How do you do it? By taking care of yourself first. When they say that you put value on yourself, they'll put value on you too. Pardon me, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee because it's highly caffeinated with ding. By joining our community or a community, it will help you stay accountable to your goals and your actions. That's why for those that weren't here, when I first started, I said, on the long drive back from Houston, I decided I was going to get up on Monday mornings through every Monday of 2017 at 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. and say something. Whatever motivates me, moved me, I get the pleasure and have the pleasure of talking to people face-to-face -face and online each and every day and help them live their dreams. So I'm going to share the stories, the antidotes, and help you do the same thing. With a non-judgmental community, you get to experience like good morning tea. Hope you're enjoying coffee out there in the living room somewhere. But you want to experience life. Life was meant to be experienced. 
You should jump in a puddle. You should feel the rain. Ask anybody that ran the San Antonio Marathon a week ago. We got to experience the rain. We got to experience the wind. We got to experience the cold. We got to experience the fact that we could traverse San Antonio, Texas for 26.2 miles and a week later still be here. Because you should do something every day that challenges you, that scares the bejeebers out of you. And when you survive, you'll know you can do it again tomorrow and the next time. Got it? We want to have a community of dreamers, believers, and doers. We are a grassroots community that can make a difference in the world by the 10 things I'm sharing here. And I will go back over them again for sure. At the end of the day, how do you live a bold and amazing life? By building a more kind and caring world. To me, that's the biggest piece I want to do. I want to help us do together. So on this Monday morning, as you're getting dressed and brushing your teeth, good dental hygiene is important. Thank you, Gretchen. I want us to be like each other. Actually, I want us all to be a little bit different. I want us to be different, walk differently, share our stories differently, and at the end of the day, have common goals and grounds. So thank you very much. You made me smile. I almost lost track of what I was going to say. Ultimately, each morning I get up, I want to have an interactive talk by hitting the likes, hitting the, the hearts, hitting the moons and clovers or whatever Facebook has up. Who knows what they'll have by the end of the year. By having questions, I will put up another event um, each week with potentially what I'm going to speak about. Sometimes it literally takes me the day or week that I know I'm going to do it and I process it. And it's not till I actually wake up and I get moving that I ultimately decide what I want to do. Thank you for all the hearts. But again, 10 ways you can live a bold and amazing life. Be part of a healthier revolution. Number one, take care of yourself. Number two, be kind. Number three, be confident. Number four, be part of a positive, non-judgmental, supportive community. Impact others by your actions. Motivate and inspire others. Stay accountable to your goals. Experience life. Dream big. Dream often. Dream out loud. And the number one part of expiring... Yeah, I'm stumbled. Maybe I need some coffee. Excuse me. And number 10, and the most important is to build a more kind and caring world. So what I ask you to do here is like, comment, share this post. Sometimes the internet doesn't want to cooperate. Like, comment, or share this post, and I will personally reach out to you. And thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I don't have any of those little cups. I should just eat espresso beans. I really do like those, actually. I'll send you a thank you message for listening. And then we'll talk together on how we can inspire and motivate and build a healthy revolution. No, I'm not highly caffeinated yet. I've only been up for about an hour. So my alarm clock does go off Monday through Friday at 4 a.m. I oftentimes hit the snooze button, but I never really lay there very often. I just have to get up and go. We have a border collie. She is our mascot for Dane Boyle Fitness. And Dodger comes out of her kennel, man, and she is ready to rock and ready to roll. And that's how I am every day. And I hope that I can motivate you to do the same. So once again, here's what I ask everybody who's live here. Hit the heart button right now. I'm going to wait. Hit that heart button. I want to see it go across. I'm not going off. I'm not going. I'm just going to keep mumbling and mumbling. I don't have a heart button to push. So come back. Hit the heart button. There you go. Thank you so much. There you go. Now I'm happy. Anyway, let's live a bold and amazing life. I will be back here at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow. Comment on things you'd like to talk about, hear about, and I will work hard to make sure we accomplish those together. Have a great day, y'all. Make a difference in the world.